What's up everybody? It's Luke representing LJB Fitness. And today, Sunday, it's about what's the time? 25 to 3. I gotta train shoulders, I'm tired. It's Sunday, but hey, I got goals to hit, man. Some of you guys might have been out partying yesterday. Not me. I don't do that stuff. Not all the time. So got shoulders today. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm recording this because I'm hoping I can record it for you guys. Um, anyway, let me show you what. I'll... So, just just a little simple preparation. Got my water bottle here. Got my RG water bottle there. Got my protein and creatine in there. So this, and that's the creatine. And what protein I'm taking at the moment is from my protein. It's called Hard Gainer Extreme. So it's got the mixture of carbs, protein, and all the vitamins that I need. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way to the gym. Let me just get my head right. I work hard today. I use sun Sundays like my day where. I don't really have a fixed workout. I kind of, so today I'm gonna to train my shoulders, but at the same time I do start to exercise the muscles or the exercises that I haven't been able to do during the week. So I might throw in a little bit of carbs, um, might do a little bit of cardio as well, might do a bit of boxing. We'll see, just gonna freestyle it. Hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can record it for you guys. All right. What's up everybody? Okay, so my first exercise I did is an Arnold press. Alright, Arnold press coming all the way down and all the way up. I prefer these ones because it, it takes away the pain in my rotator cuff because I've got a really niggling pain in my rotator cuff. If you know what, if, if that's at the back of your shoulder, okay, if you suffer from that too, these will actually help out with the pain with that. You can't go as heavy but hey, this is bodybuilding, you know, we're not we're not trying to see you the strongest guys out here, alright? So, if you want to take the pain away, try the Arnold presses. So, on my first working set, I went up to 20 kilos. And I think, I think I did 10 reps. It was either 10 or 12, but you'll see it now. Just doing my traps. So now I'm gonna do barbell, barbell shrugs. But the thing is with barbell shrugs is I lose grip. I lose grip, man. Like when I got a heavy weight on there, it's hard for me to get a nice strong grip to bring my shoulders up properly and bring it around. So what I figured out is I'm gonna do the heaviest I can with the best grip. Then I'm gonna superset it with another type of shrugs. All right, I'm gonna show you what I mean. So as I was saying, you know, a lot of us, when we're doing things like deadlifts or shrugs, the first thing to go is your grip. Now, I don't really like to use straps because straps don't really help for me for some reason, you know. If I can't grip the bar, then I just look at myself in the mirror and I just say, yeah, I'm not strong enough, you know. So I'd rather improve my grip first and then go up the weight, all right. So what I did is I did the barbell shrugs, 10 of the barbell shrugs, and then I went down, picked up two plates, and I did more shrugs. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you from a different angle. So to bring it up, roll it back, round. That's how you hit the track properly. I'll show you again from another angle. See how I bring my shoulders up, and I'll roll it back. Okay, I don't bring it up and straight down. It's up, and roll it back properly. It's true, because a lot of people, right, when they're doing the shrugs, they just bring their shoulders straight up and straight back down. That's all right, that's fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but you wanna make sure you bring it up and around, all right, to hit the traps properly. So, the third exercise, okay, is something I call upright rows, okay? A lot of people do these with barbells, some people do them with the easy bar. I like to do it with the, with the um, cables because there's always a constant tension. You know, so what you gotta do is you gotta make sure you're bringing your elbows up high, okay? Roll your shoulders back and bring your elbows up high. Do not try and bring the bar up high, it's all in the elbows if you wanna hit the shoulders properly. I like this one. This one I call rear flies, okay? Cable rear flies. 
This is obviously for your rear delts, all right? So it's the muscles on the back part of your shoulders. It's important, don't neglect that. Don't not neglect the rear delts, you need them. If you wanna keep strong and you wanna keep your presses nice and strong, you gotta make sure those rear delts are developed. And the second exercise for the rear delts is face pulls, all right? Same thing again, you're bringing your elbows up high. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna bring your elbows down low because then you're gonna be working your back muscles and we don't wanna do that. It's all about the rear delts. What's up everyone? Just for your shoulders, dead man. So today was shoulders. I wanted to concentrate more on my traps and my rear delts. So this was like a shoulders like a rear shoulder, rear delt day, you know, because um, I have two shoulders a week. Um, the first day on shoulders, I do a lot of lateral raises, frontal raises, a lot of presses, um, a lot of like this part, trying to get the, the round part of the shoulder, get the shoulder round and big. That's what I do the first day. The second shoulders day, I like to do traps and the rear delt stuff, you know, because if you don't know already, your shoulder isn't just here, you know, your shoulder is all of this, your shoulder's all of that, and your shoulder's everything at the back there, at the top part, that's your shoulder, so you gotta make sure you're hitting all of it. And I don't like to do it all in one day because I tire out too much. So for example, like, when I do shoulders, when I used to do shoulders just one day a week, I would do the presses, lateral raises, frontal raises, rear delts, traps, but I could never hit those muscles properly because I'm so tired. Like, I'm so tired that, you know, I don't really feel like my rear delts get hit as much. Or I probably don't even do my rear delts. Back in the day, I never even used to do them that much because I was so tired. So yeah, that's why I, I do two now. But um, yeah, so I've changed up my routine now. You know, for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Luke, represent LGB Fitness. I'm just a personal trainer. I'm a skinny guy trying to get Try, not trying to get big, just trying to get athletic, trying to get a little bit bigger. I don't like the whole big and stocky look. So any of you brothers out there, any of you sisters out there that, you know, want to put on weight and you want to know how to do it the right way, because there's a lot of big dudes on YouTube nowadays that are showing you how to get big like them, but not a lot of them started out slim and skinny. So if you want to know how to do it, subscribe to my channel. Much love to everybody out there. This is Luke represent LJB Fitness. Next video coming soon. I'm out. Peace.